Is it time for the lower mainland to merge into one giant city? How about pockets of unification such as the Tri-Cities? These are questions that emerge every municipal election, but this time the tide may be turning. CTV's Penny Daflos looks into the issue of amalgamation. Vancouver is the only major city in Canada that hasn't annexed any suburbs to form a larger city. Recent polling suggests there is support to do just that. A majority of people in Vancouver, a majority of people in Surrey who believe that this is the right course of action, having a larger city, amalgamating services. The Ontario government forced the change in Toronto two decades ago in the name of cost savings with mixed results. There's been sort of side benefits in terms of improving Toronto's international reputation. Having a larger population comes with advantages, so some have just sort of weighed on those benefits despite the fact that efficiency seems to be, you know, there's some good, some bad. But merging into one mega city isn't the only option on the table. The sort of idea that we do all of Metro Vancouver and nothing, uh, I don't think is the right way to look at it. Pitt Meadows and Maple Ridge already share an RCMP detachment, as do Langley City and Langley Township. In some ways, amalgamation is already happening. TransLink runs service across city borders. Metro Vancouver handles water and sewage for the region and even has a map with subregions. Could this be a temp for the future? Change is rarely easy, especially when there's no urgent problem pushing city councils in that direction. So could the province do it? The man who appears poised to be the next premier has made a sweeping proposal to impose housing policies on cities. Are you saying that you are willing to go toe to toe with mayors uh, to push some of these things through? My commitment to them uh, is to work with them. The current Municipal Affairs Minister doesn't want to get involved. I like to see the initiative come from voters who live there as to what it is that they want. In the last election, nearly 80% of North Vancouver District voted to pursue amalgamation with no action since. This is something that requires essentially the councils to vote themselves out of a job. Meaning it may require a higher authority to make any potential changes, whether that means one major city or a series of amalgamations. Penny Daflos, CTV News, Vancouver.